blessings is upon us. But we may sometimes go through a process to understand His ways and His uh, hallelujah plans in our lives. And He says that, now do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourself for selling me here because it was to save lives that God sent me. Hallelujah. Now, he says that again, there will be famine here. So, verses 5, 6 says, For two years now, there has been famine in the land, and for the next five years, there will be no plowing or reaping. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve you for a remnant on earth and to save your lives by great deliverance. Hallelujah. Sometimes God is keeping us to, hallelujah, from all harm, from all type of problems. Why? Because to glorify His name. Hallelujah. Because to glorify His name. Thank you, Jesus. Verses 8 says that. So, verses 8, let us read verses 8. So now, it was not you that sent me here, but God and He has made me a father to Pharaoh and Lord of all his house and the ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. Verses, uh, uh, let's go down. It says, As he and go up but to my father and say unto them, This says, this day is the son Joseph. God has made me Lord of all Egypt. Come down to me. Tarry not. Hallelujah. He says that, so you, your, you just go to your father and tell him that I am alive. Hallelujah. Your children and grand, uh, then verses 10. So it was not you who sent me here, but God. He made me the father of Pharaoh, Lord of his entire household and the ruler of all Egypt. Now hurry back to my father and say to him, this is what your son Joseph says, God had sent me Lord of all Egypt. Come down to me. Don't delay. Hallelujah. See, Joseph, even though he was faithfully serving God, he, was, uh, he had a good faith in God. Hallelujah. God did not reveal him that his son is alive. Hallelujah. Now, Joseph, as the governor of the land, hallelujah, he is sending his servants to his father. He is sending or telling his, uh, his uh, uh, brothers that you just tell to him, tell to my father, come down to me, don't delay. Hallelujah. See, the work of God is very fast. We may think that sometimes that we are not getting the results all on a sudden. Hallelujah. Sometimes we may think that, oh, how long I am praying for this? How long I am praying? But no results. But in, in, within twinkling of an eye, the result can come. Hallelujah. Now Joseph last many years, he lost his son. He was thinking that, no, I don't have the son. He died already. But now he is in a better position. Hallelujah. And he is telling, come down to me. Don't delay. And you shall live in the region of Goshen and be near to me, hallelujah, the land of fertility, hallelujah, come down to me, and you shall live, verses 10, verses 10 says, and thou shalt dwell in the land of Goshen, and thou shalt be near unto me, near to my palace, hallelujah, and the children, and the children's children, and the flocks, and the herds, and all that you have, whatever possessions you have, your flocks, your animals, whatever you have, all will be very secure in the land. See the plan of God. Hallelujah. See the plan of God. Even though he went through a process, even though he went to mental and physical problems, when, when uh, Jacob sent him to see the welfare of, uh, hallelujah, his children, hallelujah, they put him in sustain. It means a physical and a mental torture. Hallelujah. After that, they took him and sold the Midianites. Hallelujah. That also mentally he is struggling. Then after that, hallelujah, they sold him to what officer? Pharaoh's officer. Hallelujah. Official. Hallelujah. Then again he went and ended up in jail. Again, God himself is giving a vision to him. Hallelujah. To Pharaoh. Nobody in the land can interpret that vision. Hallelujah. But 
Joseph only can interpret some of the thing God is giving to you. Hallelujah. That you can only interpret it. You can only unlock it. Why? Because God giving to you. God have a plan and purpose in your life. That's why God is giving the same way. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Now he says that. Go down to me. Don't delay. Hallelujah. Go down to me. Don't delay. And you shall live in the region of Goshen and be near, me, uh, uh, near to me. You, your children, your grandchildren, your flocks and herds and all of you, then I will provide for you there because five years of famine are still to come. Hallelujah. Five years of famine is still to come. Hallelujah. Before the famine, God is arranging everything to us. Hallelujah. We, we understand, sometimes we understand the word of God and we buy heart it sometimes.